happy Monday. Oh my gosh. So, um, get out your acrylic blocks. I have got a fun way to use your acrylic blocks uh, to create different backgrounds, okay? So in today's video, I'm gonna show you four different ways to use your acrylic blocks as background stamps. For those of you who don't know me, if you've just found me, my name is Christina Reese, and this is Creating with Christina. I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my Facebook page to help card makers with art design and uh, just helping you with my card tutorials. Okay, um, one thing before we get started, don't forget I have a July host code. And what that means is when you purchase $50 before tax or more, I will send you a nice thank you gift at the end of the month for um, that. Yeah, so I just wanted to tell you guys about that. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. All right, so um, acrylic blocks. Love acrylic blocks. So this is what I mean by an acrylic block, just a clear acrylic block. And we have multiple sizes of acrylic blocks. We have itty bitty ones, big fat ones. Um, yeah, even these little ones. All of these blocks can be used to make backgrounds, and I want to show you how to do that. Oh, I forgot to turn on my comments. There we go. All right, let me get all this out of the way. And uh, there are a couple of hints you need to know. Hey, good morning, everyone. How are you? Um, all your names just popped up. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to use the regular size D block today. But like I said, you could use any size block. I'm going to show you four different ways to use this block. To create some backgrounds. Now, one hint that you need to know is that your background ink needs to be lighter, yeah, a very light color. So I suggest the subtles, uh, things like, well, we have lots of subtles. We have uh, uh, the petal pink, we have the so saffron, the sea foam. Those are some super light colors that would help. Um, so what happens then is whenever you stamp your image on top of this background, um, it the image will pop. So it's a great idea for like sil uh, silhouette type stamping. Now, if you want to use dark colors, that works also, except you would need to do like white heat embossing so you could see uh, what you're stamping on top of a dark color. So that's one hint. The next hint is use a foam pad. So your acrylic block is super hard surface and then your tabletop is super hard. And if there's any little bump or kind of an air pocket or whatever, an uneven surface, the ink's just not gonna go there. So you want a foam surface so that the entire acrylic block will press down onto the paper, okay? So, so far we're gonna use light ink on our block, dark ink on our stamp image. We're gonna use a foam pad. And then also, after I show you these four different ways, there are ways you can change it up. You can change the kind of paper. You don't have to stamp on white paper. You could stamp on um, maybe a tone-on-tone -tone paper or a watercolor paper versus just a regular cardstock. You can also change up the shape. So like I said, we've got different shapes shapes that we could use. And uh, what else? Oh, and then on one card, I'm going to show you where I actually cut the background out and then pop it up on dimensional. So there's all kinds of different ways, but let me show you how to do this. So the first way I'm going to show you is the very traditional way. You've probably all seen this. You take a piece of white cardstock. I'm using the balmy blue from the Settles collection. All right, and I'm using my D size block, and all I'm gonna do is just ink this block up, okay? All right, and I've got nice ink on it. Also, one more tip, be sure your block is clean. If you have any fingerprints, those will show through. Um, the ink won't stick to the fingerprints very well because your fingerprints have oil and the ink has water. So be sure you've cleaned your block really well before you do this. And I just like to let it sit there for a minute, let the ink absorb into the card base. Now this is white paper, so I don't want to get, if I get any ink on my fingers, I don't want it on my thing. So this is the traditional background stamp. Isn't that pretty? I mean, it's just beautiful, just like that. But I do want, now see how that left a little kind of a clear spot? Um, even though I had the foam pad, uh, I must have, this block must not be completely flat. Um, sometimes when manufacturers the acrylic doesn't 
it's not a completely flat surface, but it still makes it for a cool design. All right, so that's one way. The next way, all right, same thing, but this time after we ink it up, okay, we're gonna ink it up, okay? This time, watch this, we're going to twist it and lift up, okay? Now watch this, this is so cool. Let it down. And I'm pressing really hard this time because of that center part. And now let me lift this up and show you the difference. Okay. Um, yeah, this film isn't very good, but there are swirls in the ink. So uh, that's pretty cool. So you got some swirls in the ink. And then the last way, or not the last way, the third way, I'm sorry. Um, get out some handy wipes. You want to keep your block clean. I um, There we go and your fingertips clean. <laughs> there we go. All right, got that, get your fingertips clean, good, good, good. Now this one, we are going to do, we're going to ink it up like this. Oh, sorry, I'm not in the picture. And now, take a water spritz, okay? Now, if you just do one spritz, you're not gonna get much of a difference. So let's do a lot of spritz. Let's get a lot of water on there. So I'm spraying off camera so that I don't get water all over my desk. But you can see how the ink starts to pool, okay? And I'm just gonna drop that down. And I also will need a paper towel, which my paper towel I was using earlier is all dirty. I need a clean one because when it pools like that, when the ink, when the water and the ink pool like that, it, when I pull it up, it's gonna create like a suction and all the ink is gonna come in one spot. Well, not in this case. All right, I left it on there so long that it sunk down into the paper. But how cool, check out the difference. How cool, isn't that awesome? Love that. All right, we have one more way we're gonna do it. And this time, we are going to use two different colors, all right? So my first time is just the traditional stamp, stamp. The second way was to stamp twist. The third way was to stamp spritz. And the fourth way is to do two colors. So I have balmy blue and I have the um, misty moonlight, so it's a darker color. So I'm gonna start with the light one and just half of the block, okay? Just half of the block on there. Then I'm gonna turn it around. I'm gonna get my darker color here. And I can see where the line is, but it's okay if I kind of overlap because the blue, the light balmy blue won't mess up the dark misty moonlight pad. Now, I have two different colors, okay? But I really like the way the water makes it uh, blur and make it more of a solid. So I'm gonna spray this a couple of times and do once again, the multicolor. Now, one thing about doing a dark and a light. So my dark, if I stamp there, you're really just not gonna see it. Now, when I stamp on the light, it'll show very well. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the card I made when I did this technique. Okay, and there we go. Cool, huh? <laughs> so there we go with two colors. So there are the four different ways to do this background stamping. And now I'm gonna show you some cards I made. So this was the original. You pull that up so you can see it better. And then we twisted it. And then we spritzed it. And then we did two colors and we spritzed, all right? Um, close these up before I get ink all over everything. <laughs> all right, here we go. You ready to see all my creations? So let me make sure I get them in the right order for you. All right. So here was the first one. This was just a regular background, just uh, inked it up and stamped it. And that's all there was to it. I'll bring it down so you can see the whole card, okay? Same exact design card, but this one was with the twist. Now this one, you can really see the twist in the ink, okay? So there's that one. Then this is the one where I spritz the water, okay? And then now here's the last one. This is the one that is really different from these three because I had to do white embossing so you could see the snowflakes on the dark misty moonlight. 
So there's the door, and I cut the the background stamped image out. I uh, matted it on a piece of white, and then I popped it up. I don't know if you can see, I popped it up, put it on some designer paper, and then I stamped dark ink here on the light. So there's the fourth way. So these are the four different ways. I cannot wait to see what you guys create. Okay, one more time review. So we have ink up the block, stamp it. Ink up the block, twist it and stamp it. Ink up the block, spritz it with water. And four, do two different colors. And you can either, if you do two colors, you can either do it where you just stamp it or you spritz it with water, either way is fine. Um, it makes two different looks. So there you go. What do you guys think about these cards this morning? <laughs> Like I said, I cannot wait to see what you guys create. Please put your pictures on um, either this uh, Facebook page, Creating with Christina, or go over to our private group, Christina's Creative Stampers, and that's a private group you have to be accepted to, into, and you can put them there instead if you'd rather put it in a private group. But either place, um, just share all your great creations so that all of us can um, just help each other in uh, coming up with great ideas. All right, I'm going to go through the comments just really quick, make sure there weren't any questions this morning. Um, I love how you all say good morning to each other. That is so sweet. I love this group. Y'all are the best creative community. Just the best. All right. Love you guys. See you Wednesday for Wednesday's card challenge. Can't wait to see all those also. Bye-bye. <laughs>